to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. I'm Matt. Today I want to share with you a quick clip on how to tie the taut line hitch. It's a very useful knot to know, and so we'll go through it together step by step. Okay, let's tie the taut line hitch step by step. And hopefully this will be an angle that you can see well. So I simply take my cordage and wrap it around the post or tree or whatever I'm going to attach to. And I have two ends. I have the shorter end here, what's known as the working end. And then I have the long end, which is the bulk of my cordage, and that's known as the standing end. All right, once I come around the pole, or tree, I'm simply going to go over top of the standing end. Okay, once I go over top, I'm simply going to loop one time and a second time around the standing end. I'm going to show you that just again to make sure. Right. Once we come around a tree, we have our two ends. Cross over top, around one, and around two. Now at that point, I'm simply going to come over top and under the standing end. Okay. Just pull it back, going outside of this knot you've already created, and go under and back through the loop, basically a half hitch. And when you cinch that together, this is what you'll get. And you want to tighten that knot on down a bit so it won't slip. So you get your taut line knot there tight. And at that point, you can slide the knot with your hand, but when you pull against it, it binds against the standing end, therefore creating tension in your line. So you can shorten, in a sense, shorten or lengthen your line. So I just gave it a lot of slack. And actually, this is giving it slack, getting closer to the tree, and this will create tension sliding it away from the tree. But when I put that under a load and pull on it, it doesn't slip, as you can see. Okay, well, I wanted to tie the taut line hitch for you once more with a different background, and hopefully, maybe there's a little more contrast here so you can see what's happening better. I simply take my cordage around the pole. That gives me the two ends, the short end being the working end, and the long end being the standing end. I simply take the working end over top of the standing. Simply cross the line over. Now, I'm gonna go through that loop one time, and then I'm gonna go through a second time. Basically like tying a half hitch twice. Right, let you see that. Now, coming outside of this loop I've created, I'm going to go under my standing line and then through that loop, which is over the standing to go back through the loop. And when I do that and cinch it down, that'll create my taut line hitch. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this knot here against this pole. And hopefully you can see the knot clearly, what it looks like. Okay, and that's the taut line hitch. Once you tie your knot, especially with a cordage like this paracord, you'll want to cinch your knot down. So I grab the standing end and then just really cinch down on the working end. And that tightens your knot all up. And therefore, when you put a load against it or you pull against it, it holds its place. But if I would like to create tension within the line and tighten it up, I simply grab the knot. And much like a prussic knot, if you're familiar with that, I can slide it down the line. But then it binds under pressure. If I want to create slack in the line, I simply slide it closer to the pole. And tension is simply pulling it away from the pole on the standing line. Alright, and that is the taut line hitch. Alright, well I thank you guys for taking the time to tune in for this quick video on how to tie a taut line hitch. If you don't know this one, I hope you'll take the time to practice it and add it to your toolbox. I appreciate you guys' support and interest on this channel always, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Until then, take care and God bless.